Hi everyone, Luke here from Weekend Tour Pros. You're joining me again at Portsmouth Golf Centre for a brand new for 2024 iron review. It's the TaylorMade QI10. Now this iron looks absolutely stunning in my hands, so I'm really keen to give it a hit and see how it performs in the hands of an average swing speed mid-handicap golfer like myself. Let's get stuck in. So first impression with the iron down at address is it does look meaty. It does have, because it's quite a matted finish, it does look chunky, it does look meaty. That's not a bad thing. There'll be a lot of golfers that will look at this iron. It will inspire a lot of confidence in them, but it has got a very thick top line. One thing it does have is the bottom groove has got the paint infill, which just does help you to line up the club. I think that's a master stroke when other club manufacturers do that. It has got a little bit of offset. And again, because of that matted finish, particularly in this light today, you can see there is a little bit of offset there, but it's not too much offset. And again, I do think that helps to inspire a bit of confidence to the handicapped golfer. So for me personally, absolutely no issue with how these irons look, feeling like they're going to inspire me to hit some good shots with them. I'm really keen to give them a hit. And I've hit a little bit of a cutty one down the left hand side. Feels good. That's the one thing I would say is it feels good. So first shot out the gate, 76 mile an hour of club head speed, 106 of ball, carrying at 145, total at 153, spinning at 5.7, that must be because of the way I've delivered it, and launching at 21.3, a peak height of 85, landing at 46. Those are really strong numbers. For a seven iron in this loft, those are really strong numbers. All we've got to see is if we can just strike it a little bit better and get that carry number up. Oh, that felt really nice. Really nice. Slightly more penetrating flight that time. Wouldn't expect it to launch or go as high. Yeah, 106 of ball speed, 147 on the carry, 5.6 on the spin. That's really high spin. That's two shots in a row with two very different deliveries that have delivered some high spin. That launch and that height a little bit lower as a result, as was that land angle. Probably a little bit closer to what I would expect to see out of my own iron, if I'm honest with you. I've caught that out the toe massively. I could feel it and I've pulled it down the right a little bit as well. 105 of ball, 144 carry, high toe strike as you can see, spinning at five, six, seven. The spin is really consistent from these first three shots. I think it's within about 50 revs of each other, launching very similar window. I think the peak heights as well are all very, very similar as well in that kind of 74 feet. So very, very consistent set of three goal shots. For a game improvement iron to be that consistent, that is impressive. There we go. There is the one. Again, so 107 of ball, so you can see that I did strike a little bit better there based on the impact location and the ball speed. 148 of carry, 156 total, spinning at 5629, launching at 20, peak height of 82 feet, landing at 46. They're really good. The one thing I would say is if you need more spin, you should test these irons because the spin rates off of this seven iron are so, so high. And again, a bit like the driver actually, if you've watched my review of the QI10 Max driver, the one observation I had with it is off the rack in that setup, it was really, really high spin. If you've not watched that review, I'll put a link to it up there for you. But this is exactly the same with the irons. Now, as a handicapped golfer, we struggle. You know, it's so easy to take spin off, so hard to get it. These have got a lot of it. A little draw, pull, pull draw there. 106 of ball speed, carrying at 146, spinning at 5.4 again, that spin's so consistent, every single one around 5.4, 5, 5.6, 5, launching at 20 degrees, peak height 77 feet, land angle 44. If you need more spin, test these irons. That's the simple tagline for this video, done already. It's another tiny pull draw, they feel great. Is it wrong to say that I'm a little bit impressed by how a manufacturer has made an iron that's a game improvement iron and they've tried to find more spin in it rather than just dialing the spin down and jacking up the distance? But I don't know. That one there, unfortunately Trackman's not picked up the impact location on it. 110 of ball speed, 157 of carry, and that we have seen the drop off in spin there. Last couple of shots. Oh, that's the best one, yeah. It's such a good golf shot. There we go. So there is that potential for them. Maybe more what I was expecting to see because that is still good spin. 109 of ball speed, 156 yards of carry, totaling 167, spinning at 4.8, launching at 20, peak height 83 feet, land angle 45. What that says to me then guys is, you catch it at the sweet spot, the spin drops down and you get that shoot of distance. 
You don't catch it at the sweet spot and they've found a way to increase the spin to keep that ball in the air, give you that strong ball flight that inspires the confidence that you hit a semi-decent shot and you're not sacrificing too much distance. That's an impressive combination, I think. The only thing I would say is I guess the only argument might be the drop off of 10 yards between that good hit and that not so good hit might be a little bit worrying for some people, but if you're the person that's playing these irons anyway, you've probably got that variability in your game, a bit like I have. Right, last one with this club. Let's hit a good one to finish on. Oh, that is a good one. That's gotta be over that 150 mark. Right on it. 150, 108 of ball speed, 150 of carry, spinning at 5487, launching at 19, peak height of 80, land angle at 45. So you've seen me hit shots with the tailor-made QI10 irons. Now it's time to deep dive into all of that TrackMan data, including a comparison against my own irons, the Mizuno JPX923 Forged. Now, before we deep dive into that data, it's worth me calling out that my own irons are a player's distance iron versus the game improvement tailor-made QI10 irons. And the lofts on these two seven irons are slightly different with the QI10 coming in at 28 degrees and my own Mizuno slightly weaker at 30 degrees. Now starting on the left hand side, you'll see that the tailor-made QI10 delivered 0.3 mile an hour more ball speed on average and 1.3 mile an hour more club head speed. However, the smash factor was marginally lower. Now that could be due to my delivery being a bit better with my own iron that I'm a little bit more used to, but as you'll see here from my strike location, it was actually a little bit more consistent with the tailor-made QI10. So it might just be that I need to dial in the shaft settings with a fitter to make sure I optimize the speed that I get out of the QI10. Now moving across to the spin rates, as I touched on in the bay, the spin rates with the tailor-made QI10 did really, really impress me, particularly for a game improvement iron. We saw circa 4,700 revs of spin on those couple of flushed hits, and then we saw the spin consistently around the 5,600 mark on those slightly off-center hits. That's all averaged out at 5,342, which was about 400 revs more than my own Mizuno. In terms of ball flights, these two clubs were virtually identical in terms of their launch angle, peak heights and land angles, which is very impressive considering that reduced loft on the tailor-made irons. Now, if I bring that all to life for you, just see with a side on view here, just how consistent the launch and the apex were with those tailor-made irons. Now onto that all important distance. Well, because of those similar ball speeds and ball flights, but with the added spin, the tailor-made QI10 iron did carry 1.5 yards less and total 2.6 yards less on average. However, it did stop 0.7 yards quicker, which again is super impressive for a game improvement iron. The final thing I always like to show you is my dispersion circle. As you can see, but for that one push down the left hand side, the rest of the shots were quite tight left to right in terms of dispersion. And bar those two shots that I struck perfectly that just jumped up in distance, so was the front to back dispersion as well. Some really interesting numbers there from the tailor-made QI10 irons. I really like how they feel, how they look, and most importantly of all, I like the fact that off the rack, they are delivering a really good spin rate. The reason why I say that is because most golfers who are gonna be playing a game improvement iron are typically gonna have a slower club head speed and struggle to generate good spin rates and hold the golf ball on the green. So for these irons to be delivering a good spin rate straight off of the rack means you can work with a custom fitter to dial in the optimal amount of spin for you and distance for you. It's really, really easy for a custom fitter to take a few hundred revs of spin away. It's very difficult for them to find an additional thousand revs of spin for you if you just don't have the speed to generate it in the first place. So I think these start in a really good starting point. If you get custom fit for them, I think you'll absolutely maximize those distances and those ball flights to give you ultimate control and stopping power on the greens. If you're someone who's watched this video and you're saying that all sounds great, Luke, but I need a little bit more help to get the golf ball up into the air, then don't worry. TaylorMade also have released a high launch version of these irons that comes in a slightly more lightweight package and with slightly weaker lofts. And that should give you all the confidence you need to pop the golf ball up in the air and get that optimal launch and ball flight that you desire. Both sets of irons are £859 in the UK for five iron to pitching wedge and TaylorMade also offer longer irons and gap wedges as well for the golfers that want to add those to those sets. Final thing to say is if you're watching this review and you're comparing the QI10 irons to the Callaway AI Smoke irons, I filmed my review of both these gold clubs on the same day back to back. So I'll put a link up there for you to the Callaway review if you wanna watch that straight afterwards and compare how both irons performed in my hands back to back. Final thing to say is if you like the video, please do smash that thumbs up button. It helps other like-minded golfers to find my content on YouTube. And if you're not yet subscribed to Weekend Tour Pros, hit that button down below, ring the bell icon, and you'll get notified of all my videos as they land on YouTube every single week. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Goodbye.